Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNonFoto.com and in today's video we're going to be talking, well, I'm going to be talking all about off-camera flash, flash, using the um, Canon EOS uh, 600D or T3i and this little baby here, the Yongnuo 565EX. Um, I think there's the X2 out now as well. Um, and what we're really going to be talking about is kind of how you can do uh, this sort of thing. Where what happened there was my camera fired and the pop-up flash fired. And then you might have seen that the 565EX fired as well. And you might think, well, that, that's no big thing. Most strobes, most flashes these days have a slave mode where... Um, They'll, they'll fire when you pop up flash fires. You can use a commander. However, the big difference with the YN565 uh, EX and some of its siblings, and obviously more expensive flashes from, from Canon, is that it can do TTL or ETTL flash exposure without using any triggers or wires. So what that means is normally when you would fire a um, flash and have it triggered by the strobe, so this goes off and that one goes off at the same time, the only control you have over whether you're getting a picture that looks right, so the exposure is right, is by manually adjusting the, the settings on this baby. But with the 600D, or the T3i, and the uh, 565EX, they talk to each other, and so the camera and the flash will get an automatic flash exposure, um, which is absolutely, absolutely amazing. So... We've got a wireless flash um, that's automatically uh, balanced for exposure, um, and we're not going. We don't have to worry about guide numbers. We don't have to worry about f stops. We don't have to worry about fiddling around with the flash at this end. We can do everything on the camera, um, and we can even change the strength of that flash using our camera. Um, and uh, the other thing that we I'm going to share to do today as well is that you can even have. Um, although the pop-up flash goes off, you can even have it so that the, that is just the main light for your, for your photography. Or you can have it so that you can, you've got both of these as their main lights. And then you can balance the light between the two. So you can make this one stronger, that one stronger. So, you know, you've got a really great kind of two flash setup, you know, with just the kit. You know, all you need is one of these flashes and the camera that you've already got. And you're good and you're good to go. So basically what's happening is this is acting as a commander unit and it fires a flash off. To, I don't know exactly how it works, but it fires a flash off to kind of expose the scene and tell the, I think then tells this one to fire. This all happens incredibly fast. That one fires. The camera looks at the scene through the lens and it goes, well, actually the, the, the flash needs to be a little bit lower or a little bit higher. And then it will send the, the instruction to that. And then bang, and they both fire at the same time. And you get a correctly exposed photo. Um, but normally, if you're trying to um, uh, get your flash off the camera like this, there's... Uh, there's quite a few compromises that you've either you've got to you've got to make. Um, you could, if you wanted to stay automatic, you could use a TTL wire, which is a big thick curly wire that goes between your camera and the flash, and so they can still talk to each other, but they're not very long, it's a bit awkward. Um, you could go manual and just use a manual wire to trigger it, but then you haven't got the automatic features, so you haven't got the change. And obviously wires can be a tripping hazard, you pull them, your flash goes on the floor and smashes. You can use cheap radio triggers or expensive radio triggers, but again, unless you're spending an awful lot of money, they're not TTL compatible. So again, you're just turning your, your flash into a manual flash. So when you fire your camera, the flash will pop. Again, there's nothing wrong with having manual flash. It's easy to learn. It's fairly quick to do. But <laughs> believe me, the advantages of going automatic, it's, it's amazing. It makes flash photography so much easier. However, with the 600D, um, 650D, the 700D, the 7D, the uh, 60D, and probably most of Canon's newer bodies now, you know, if you if you've got a Canon body and you're watching this video, you know, and you've bought it recently, it will be capable of using its pop-up flash to control a compatible flash like the Canon flashes or something like the YN uh, 
um, 565EX, the 565EX2, or the 568. The beauty with the young Nuo flashes is how cheap they are. They really are great value for money. Now, they don't have the longevity or the toughness of a proper Canon flash, but if you're just dipping your toes to off-camera flash, then this is the way to go. And this gives us full, um, through the lens, uh, flash exposure, automatic photography, just using what we see here, using my camera with its pop-up flash and the sensor and the electronics inside the 565EX. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to um, show you physically how you set um, the camera up and the flash. I think we'll probably start with setting the flash up first so you can see how it'll go, how it all goes together and how easy it is. Okay, so that's enough talk. Yeah, let's get started. So let's get the let's get the five six five EX. So okay, so I've turned it off. So we're going to turn it on again. So um, obviously the first thing is to um, turn it on, and the kind of standard. Um, setting I have for the uh, the 565 is 565EX, uh, I'll have it in ETTL mode, because that means when it's on top of the camera, the camera and the flash talk together, and it's fully automatic flash, which is absolutely amazing, it's brilliant. If you haven't tried it, you know, get one and do it, it makes flash photography so easy. So, what we need to do now is we need to turn the 565EX into slave mode, but we need to turn it into the correct slave mode because it actually has three different slave modes. It has slave one, where the flash will just fire when your pop-up flash fires, but that's only really compatible with older cameras. Slave two is the, is the one you'll probably use the most if you're using manual flash, and what that does is that waits for the pre-flash to fire, which is what your pop-up flash does. It actually fires two flashes, and then on the second, it will then fire, and then we want the ETTL slave mode, which is the one we want, which is where the camera and the flash talk to each other and adjust the exposure on the flash to get a really nice looking photo. To get So to get that, what we do is we press and hold the zoom button down, until we get the little flash with a zigzag next to it flashing and it says off and then we just use the left and right buttons on just to cycle through the different things and what we're looking for is is just SL on and then we press the little button in the middle and so we've now got it set up now we're only using one off camera flash here so we're not going to go into using different channels and A and B group and all that sort of thing the only thing really worth mentioning is that if you have a look on the back of the 565EX, it also has, it says C and N. And what that means is that this flash will now, well, it's now ready to accept instructions from not only a Canon camera like the DSLR, the 600D, T3, but also a Nikon commander unit as well, because it's compatible with both systems. Isn't that really, really cool? Now, if you go into the manual, you can see how to turn it off so it's only accept, so it'll only accept Canon or only accept Nikon if you're using a Nikon, Nikon Master. And I guess you would probably want to do that if you're in a situation where there was you and a group of photographers shooting like the same subject, like a model or something like that, or you're in the same area and there was flashes going off and you don't want somebody else's flash interfering with yours and then you would turn off the Nikon thing um, that way. Now, when we're in this mode, we can use the left and right buttons to uh, add exposure compensation to the flash. But remember, we don't need to do that on the flash because when we've turned the system on in the Canon camera, in our 600D T3i, we can do all the adjustments from there, which is brilliant. We don't need to touch the flash again. Okay, so let's um, put that back on its stand. So it'll be ready to go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the 600D T3i so it's ready to talk to the flash and tell it what to do. Right, let's set up the 600D T3i next. Now, it's first on, let's turn it on. Um, I'm going to be shooting in aperture priority mode. Um, and I think I'm probably going to go for f5.6. So we've got fairly short depth of field. Um, but nothing nothing too too tiny. I'm going to set my ISO to 400. Now you might say, well that seems quite high, why don't you just leave it on auto ISO? Well, 
One of the big advantages of modern cameras like the 600D or any of its newer brethren is their high ISO performance is very, very good. And their ISO performance under bright light, like flash, is amazing as well. And if you use a high ISO, whether you're making the camera more sensitive to light, what it means is that the flash has to work a lot less harder. So the recycle time, so the time between flashes goes goes down a lot and your batteries will last a lot longer and your photos will look just as good. Okay, so a 5.6 ISO uh, 400. Um, and then now what we need to do, we're gonna pop up the flash because that's how the two things talk together. And now we're gonna go into the menu. So if we just press the menu button in the top left hand corner, and then in the first sort of screen, we're looking for flash control. And we just say set onto that one. And then we go down to built in flash function settings. Press set to go into that one. And then we want to use the built in flash and we want to use the easy wireless system. On the easy wireless system, basically the pop up flash just acts as a command unit to our separate flash. It, do, it doesn't re, I mean, it does illuminate the scene a little bit because it has to because it's a flash firing, but it, the idea is that it's that one, it's the off-camera flash that's going to be doing all the all the work. Um, and that's it really. Now we we you know we're ready to go. The 565 is on. My uh, 600D is on. And so what will happen now is when I fire this one now, the idea is the sensor on the front of the 565 should be pointing towards the ca the uh, camera's flash so that they can talk to each other um, and then you know you would change the swivel head but basically when I I would I would line up my shot and then I would fire the flash and you, again, it, sometimes it can be very difficult to pick this up on the video because the flash happened so fast it might not see it but what happened there is this fired it talked to the uh, the, the speed light the young no the young no would have fired this would have then looked at the exposure through the lens and then adjust the strength of the Yongle to give us fully automatic wireless flash without any other extra bits. How absolutely um, cool is that? So that's, um, that's <laughs> I love it, that's fantastic. So that's a bit. Now, what we can also do now is I'm going to show you how to quickly just how to control the power of this flash as well. So we're going to look at the back of the camera again. And all we do is we go into menu, flash control, built in flash functions. And then we go down to exposure compensation. And if we then press set on that, we can make the flash stronger. Oh, wow. <laughs> or we could go into it in flash settings and we could make it weaker so if you know if you found you're in a particular situation and the flash was just a little bit too bright maybe um, it was be, the, the through the lens metering system was being um, a little bit fooled because maybe you had a subject that was mainly white or mainly black then you know you could adjust it uh, for those settings there so what we're going to do now is we're now going to look at uh, the custom flash settings where we can do something a little bit cooler as well. Okay, so we've kind of just be, just before we were using the 600D T3i with its pop-up flash as the commander, and really just using this camera as a sorry, this flash as the main flash. Um, so now what we're going to do if we go into the settings again, what we can what I can show you now is how you can use both flashes at the same time. So what we do is we press the menu button again, we go into flash control, again press the set button, and then we go into built-in flash function settings, and then we go into built-in flash, press set, and now we go to custom wireless. So now if we go down, you can see where it says wireless function, we've got the pop-up flash and the off-camera flash, and we can choose which ones we want to use. So we could choose to use both or just the off-camera flash, but we want to use both. And then this is where the magic starts to happen. We've now got exposure compensation, so relative brightness, not only for the pop-up flash, but also for external flash as well. So we could brighten them both, or we could brighten, you know, dim and brighten them separately. So the sort of thing probably would be where this would be your main light and you were using your pop-up as a fill. So you would have this maybe brighten up a little bit, maybe up a stop, 
um, and then make, you know and take this one right down maybe just so that this one was just creating a nice catch light or just lifting from the shadows that's how powerful this system is so all I'm going to do so if I wanted to change them I would just go into exposure compensation for the pop-up flash make the adjustments that I wanted I don't know let's say turn that one down go down to the external flash let's say I want that about a stop brighter press set and now we're good to go. So now both flashes are going to be contributing to the exposure of the scene, but I've done it so that this is going to be brighter than that one. And again, it's just a case of firing them. They talk to each other and we get fully automatic, a two light setup, you know, with, with the systems that's built into your 600D T3i. How amazing is that? All you need is a compatible flash like the 565 EX the e, or the EX2 or any of the Canon flashes as well if you're you know a little bit uh, more flush for cash. So hopefully by showing you kind of these things I've wet your appetite for using um, TTL so it's automatic exposure off camera flash with your 600D your T3i or any of the compatible Canon uh, cameras. All you need is something like the 565 EX. Um, throw it on top of the camera first, bounce that light around, and then you don't need any more kit. So, you, you, know, you know, you don't even need a light stand. This is on the light stand. You can, it comes with a foot so you can perch it around different places. You can even get little adapters off eBay that will turn your tripod into a light stand as well. But say that light stands aren't very expensive, so, so that's pretty good. And you can see how we don't need expensive radio uh, triggers. Um, we don't need wires to get in the way that we can trip over. Everything is done wirelessly by our little pop-up flash which becomes the commander unit and the and the flash uh, sensor unit and they they just quite easily talk to each other now obviously all i've really been talking about in this video is technique I've been showing you you know how to do it i haven't done like a live you know how to do a portrait or an interior so the next thing really is just to practice so maybe do some interior photography um, like, you know, like architecture interior, something like that. Get a friendly subject and play around doing portrait photography because this is just the beginning. <laughs> now we've got things like Rembrandt lighting, split lighting, butterfly lighting, well, all this sort of stuff that you can start to play around with. But because you've got the light off the camera, you know, the, the, the possibilities really are endless. It really is fantastic. So that's it from me. If you've got a 600D or one of the later Canons, please get a TTL flash that's compatible with the wireless system like the 565EX. You'll love playing around with it, and they're not very expensive at all. Um, if you like the videos, if you find them helpful, please subscribe. It really helps. Put some comments in the uh, comment section down below. You can email me, uh, scalespeeder at gmail.com. That comes up at the end of the video as well. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon.